Hi, it's uh, me again. Uh, today uh, we're going to be talking about saltwater crabs. So uh, if you saw my last guide, we went over the brackish uh, marine grove fiddler crab. A easy, common beginner species uh, that is semi-aquatic. But today we'll be talking about fully aquatic marine hermit crabs. Now there are technically marine fiddler crabs, but they're much harder to find than the common brackish variant. But uh, marine hermit crabs are much more plentiful. There are many species to choose from, such as the thin stripe, which you can see clambering onto our little reef sp species. Um, they can get a little nippy with each other. You do need to make sure they're all well fed, because uh, they do, as you can see, they will attempt to cannibalize one another. So you must make sure that they're getting well fed, or they will attempt to attack each other. Um, not all marine hermit crabs will stay the same size. Uh, depending on the variant, they can either be no bigger than a dime, like these little blue hermit crabs in the back, or they will get enormous, um, and they can get almost the size of a small football, and they'll weigh a little much, um, too. And they'll get more aggressive the bigger they get. And as we uh, went over in our last video, crabs do have to molt, uh, but these have a much different system of molting. Um, they do have an exoskeleton like all other crabs, but when they molt, uh, they'll need to find a new shell. Because uh, they are an unusual decapod. As you can see, only the first four legs stick out and the pincers stick out. The other four legs are tucked in the back and a curled abdominal tail that allows it to hook itself into the back of shells. Uh, and finding the right shells for your hermit crab can be somewhat difficult because unfortunately you can't just pick out any random shell uh, especially for marine hermit crabs because uh, they are very selective with their shells uh, some will change their shells constantly until they finally feel comfortable um, and others need a specific species of snail shell just to keep them happy like, as you can see, you have these normal ones that just use the normal um, sponge shell. And you have the crabs, like the Halloween crab, which will use cone shells. And only cone shells, because that is what they have evolved to uh, deal with. Now, um, all hermit crabs are... Uh, very good algae eaters and they're also just good cleanup crews in general because uh, they won't just eat algae they'll eat detritus and even fish carcasses just like the common fiddler crab uh, however as i said we'll cannibalize things they're not really going to attack other fish as you can see they're with a blenny uh, this is a one spot blenny which I will do a little overview on in the next video. But, uh, they do just fine. Um, usually the problem is the hermit crab gets attacked by something else. Uh, like, this blenny could easily take the leg off of one of these hermit crabs with relative ease. Um, they're also quite hostile towards other things when they're near their territory. But, 
he seems to be just fine. But, uh, when you are keeping hermit crabs, you don't really have to keep them all of a relative size, but uh, don't have one that's like almost six and a half inches, and then have another one that's like not even an inch. It will get eaten. Um, are all of them reef safe? Not particularly. Some of them are. Um, like these, all these species here are completely reef safe. They won't hurt your corals. Um, but the much bigger ones, uh, like the uh, spotted red hermit crab, which gets to a massive th almost 30, 20 to 30 inches, uh, will most definitely attempt to eat coral, sponges, starfish, other fish, hermit crabs, other crabs, just anything. Um, so yeah, those definitely are not reef safe. So what type of algae will these hermit crabs try to eat? Uh, just about any algae. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It can be the your normal, you know, run-of-the-mill algae like that. Uh, it can be macro algae like this. It can just be all sorts of stuff. Uh, the, and they are not picky eaters in the slightest. Uh, they could just technically go off of anything you put in there. Uh, clam meat, fish meat, normal fish pellets, algae wafers, sticks. Yeah, but you gotta make sure every t if you're having a lot of them, just make sure food is relatively well stocked. This is a, another video from your host, Thrills and Gills.